you love eating out? I do. Uh, one thing I'm often asked is um, how, how do I maintain my health and fitness while still enjoying social events and, and eating out and at restaurants? And my answer to that is actually, it's quite simple. Um, once you have the tools and education around food and, and the options that are available to when you're eating, for you when you're eating out, you can actually make good decisions um, and enjoy yourself while also maintaining your health and fitness goals. So I'm gonna give you today some tips to help you with, um, with eating out so that you're not afraid to do it and you're not afraid to enjoy, enjoy yourself while you are out and have less stress about what it is that you're going to eat. So my first tip for you is to check the menu before you go, okay, that's a really good tip. Most restaurants have, um, have menus on their websites these days, so get on there, have a quick look and just see what your options are, okay. Um, and then you're better able to make a decision rather than feeling on the spot that you're gonna need to choose something. So awareness in advance can help. Um, my next tip is when you are ordering uh, a food item, try and get it so that it is either grilled or baked or steamed as opposed to fried, okay? So that's my second tip. Um, another tip is um, to ask for any sauces or any dressings to be placed on the side of your meal. Um, often those sauces and dressings contain a lot of sugar. So asking for them on the side means that you can choose how much or even if you want to include any of that sauce or, or dressing onto your, um, onto your meal. The next tip is um, be aware of the effect of alcohol on your decision making abilities when you're out, okay? I call alcohol a bit of a gateway drug in that when we consume alcohol, we tend to make less optimal choices in terms of the types of food that we're eating. So our inhibitions are lowered, which is what alcohol does, which is fine, but be aware of that. So if you are going out to dinner um, and you're gonna have a glass of wine, just be aware that your decision-making ability after that glass of wine will be reduced in terms of making good decisions about your health and fitness, as opposed to making that decision while sober. So that is something to be aware of. Um, and also, um, if you are choosing to, to enjoy the experience, perhaps with a dessert or a cake or for someone's birthday or something like that, um, perhaps you could share that dessert as opposed to eating it all yourself. So still being able to taste and, and enjoy the experience of having that dessert, but not having to consume all of it. Um, and I guess a final thought when it comes to eating out is understand the purpose of being social and understand the purpose of enjoying these experiences because we often place a lot of emphasis on the food that is going to be at these events whereas at the heart of those events is the other people so enjoy their experience enjoy enjoy having conversations with other people focus on that aspect of the social occasion as opposed to what food you're going to eat okay the food doesn't care if you eat it or not. It really doesn't. So if you don't eat at all, that is perfectly okay. Focus instead on enjoying the company of the people that are around you because those are the experiences and mem memories that you're gonna have for a long time as opposed to the food, okay? So I hope those tips have helped you. Um, I have a lot more. I'm a seasoned professional at eating out. I've um, been doing it for many, many years and um, and I want you to enjoy yourselves while you, while you are being social but also um, not self-sabotaging and, and um, not feeling like a failure or falling off the wagon when that happens. So if you would like any other tips, just let me know. I'm happy to help and I have many tips for you. And I hope you, that you found that useful.